quick vlog in the car on the way home. It might be a very quick vlog as well. I don't think I'll keep this up for very long. But so I need to find my way out the circuit. But um, had a day at Snetterton today, and pretty amazing, I think. I'd forgotten just how good the circuit is for spectating and I think it is much better than, for spectators, I think it's much better than either Brands Hatch or Thruxton. There are some really good vantage points here. They've done some really good work with the raised banks and things so that you get a really good view. And you're certainly up pretty close to the track in places with low fencing. So it's really um, very good indeed. The only problem with Snetterton really is that from our house it's a long way. So it takes about three hours. I mean, it's easy to find because it's all motorway pretty much. A3, M25, M11, uh, A11. So it's really quite easy to get to, but as I say, it's just a long way. Uh, okay, seems to have gone slightly wrong here. Gone slightly wrong here? I can't tell actually. It did say A11 South this way. I'm following someone else. But I ain't sure if this is right or not. Oh yeah, I think it is. Strange bit of signpost in that, really. No, all looks good. A11, uh, London, 96 miles. Well, there you go. Phew. take it really easy on the way up here. This is the first properly long journey that I've undertaken in the car since I got it uh, back on the road. So I took it nice and steady just to make sure we're all good on a long journey. So I'm also hopeful that the fuel consumption is going to be really good for, because of that since I was really just sitting at about 65 on the motorway and it, as I said it is all motorway or dual carriageway pretty much so I think the fuel consumption, I will measure it when I next fill up because I filled the tank and then obviously the trip's been running. It now says I'm just below half tank and I've done 288 miles. So I think fuel consumption should be pretty good running at that sort of speed on um, these sort of roads. Hopefully it's going to be clear on the way home. I've got loads of... Um, took loads of photos to um, process using the EM, EM1 and the Panasonic Leica 100-400 almost all day. I did also use the EP5 with the 14-150 when I was just walking around the paddock so I took a few pictures there. Oh that's another good thing about snares and circuit is that the paddock is really very open and accessible and it's not um, it's kind of uh, the, the pit garages and the paddock are pretty much all together so you can walk along the back of the pit garages um, which you can't do at Brands Hatch because the pit garages are on the other side of the track on the inside of the track you can't get there um, trucks and I can't even remember where the garages are to be honest so yeah, that's another good thing, is that the paddock is very accessible. I mean, you have to watch where you're going because there's stuff flying about all over the place. So you have to keep your wits about you in the paddock. But it is all very accessible and it's just a really, um, yeah, it's a really good 
circuit to visit, I would thoroughly recommend it. Um, there are plenty of um, catering facilities open today as well. Last time I went to Brands Hatch on a Friday, there was nothing except the um, you know the Brands Hatch restaurant type places, the Kentigan and the Paddock restaurant. Other than that, there was nothing. No, no small traders open at all. Whereas at least at this place you could get, um, you know, you could get coffee and other things um, to eat rather than just using the, I think it's Tyrrell's restaurant here at uh, Snetterton, which is fine. But there's, there's, you know, obviously it's a quite a big circuit, so there's quite a lot of ground to cover. You don't want to have to all go to one place to eat, really. So yeah, it's good facilities. I think are better. Um, Certainly on a Friday, I think if you went to Brands Hatch on a Saturday or a Sunday, um, you'd find more of the smaller traders open. But they tend not to see open on a Friday at Brands Hatch, and I don't know why. But they do here at um, Snetterton. More of them do anyway. Not all of them, but more of them do. Um, so that was good as well. All good. So we'll see what the pictures are like. Today was. The sun came out a few times, and when the sun did come out, it was pretty warm, I have to say. I was perhaps a little bit overdressed for when the sun came out, but equally, there was a bit, a bit of a breeze at times, which was a fraction on the cool side, and then I was, you know, you needed a jumper for that bit, I think. So it wasn't a bad day, quite a lot of cloud, but, you know, not bad at all. Not, no complaints about the weather today. If it had been just pure sunshine, I think all day it would have been too hot because when the sun was out, it was pretty roasty. So yeah, we'll... Um, I did take one or two small video clips as well with the EM-1. So it'll be interesting to see what those are like. I've not really got the hang of doing video clips with, um, of, of race bikes, to be honest. I think it's going to take a lot more practice, but I'm conscious that, um, you know, at the moment, the thing I really go for is the stills photography, and obviously all the time you're videoing, you can't be photographing as well, so I perhaps just need to set aside a bit more, um, a bit more time to specifically try video clipping of race bikes doesn't look easy I have to say I can see why the professional camera <clears throat> um, people prof people doing professional filming have these big tripods with sort of like these fluid head things and they can you know, pan quite easily because doing it by hand I think it might be sh as shaky as anything you know it might be really really shaky but uh, you know You've got to practice these things to get any good at them at all. So I'll have to do a little bit of practice at it and see how I get on. But not so much today. Maybe a little bit I did today, but no, I didn't do any zooming. And that's the other thing. If you're going to do um, video, do you need to be zooming a little bit? And maybe, maybe you do. But that Panasonic Leica, the zoom is quite stiff, and that would I think that would unless you were unless you had the camera really firmly held like on one of these big tripods, I think the zoom would be pretty shaky, pretty jerky, not, not very nice. So that's possibly not the, um, not the ideal lens for video zooming. Just slowing up a little bit here, just to um, get back to my 65 mile an hour A2 um, take it easy on the car just for a little while and be safe petrol got a long journey well, a longish journey ahead of me so I ain't rushing I ain't rushing it I take it nice and steady because there were the traders small traders were open I did have my tea before I left so although it is now just gone six o'clock in the evening I'm not rushing back for anything to eat because I've already eaten.